call this song uh, Something's Gotta Be Arranged. I got were in school when we sang some songs, which I guess you might call them folk songs. And I liked them a lot. Uh, we moved to California a couple of times in the, in the uh, early, mid, in the 50s, I guess, early 50s. And um, I got a chance to see a lot of the country and connect up the music with the country, you know. And I think it made, uh, it made folk songs and cowboys and Indians and uh, pioneers and legends and uh, folk songs more real to me at an early age. Say, uh, you know, I heard a story that uh, Jesse James used to eat a, a dozen eggs at one time. Did you, did you hear that story? No. There was, this, there was this guy who uh, claimed to have been a cook for the James game. He was uh, about a hundred years old. He was, he was over a hundred years old. And uh, he was a black guy. He'd been a, he'd been a he rode with the James Gang and had been a cook for it before. He said that Jesse, Jesse James used to eat a dozen eggs at one sitting. I, I can't believe it. Well, actually, I can't believe that, you know. Have you they, ever probably, they, probably went about, they probably went days without eating, you know. <laughs> Have you ever tried it? A dozen eggs? Yeah. I don't think I ever ate a dozen eggs at one time. No. I could probably do it. I mean, I guess anybody could do that. That's, that wouldn't be too good. For you like garlic? Garlic's good stuff. <coughs> keeps the <coughs> keeps the blues away. <laughs> well, oh, I'm burning my toes. Shit. Usually I throw it out the door. The neighbors think I'm catching on fire. Right. 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 I have I have no I have never been starving. You know. in this country today, there's a lot of people that are suffering from hunger, you know, and here I am eating an omelet with four eggs in it. I remember seeing a TV show uh, of a country western band that used to be on every Saturday, Eddie Zack, around 1950 or shortly after. And they had a pedal steel guitar player. And um, that's what got me into it. So, so I started playing the harmonica when I was about 14. And then from there, I met people who played guitar because I played the harmonica. So when I picked up a guitar a few years after I started playing the harmonica, 
It made sense to me, you know. The fact that I played the harmonica first made it easy for me. Oh, learn how to steal. And when they steal the chicken, chicken hollers like a goat. And they just grab that bird and they twist its neck and they stuff it up under their coat. And chicken, chicken, you can go up in a balloon. Chicken, chicken, you can hop behind the moon. It's a chicken, shoot, I ain't gonna let you be. I got a four dollar one cent chicken tonight. The can of roots too high for me. <laughs> in 64, the blues workshop at the Newport Folk Festival was the most incredible thing. There'll never be the like of it again. Almost every blues singer who had made records in the 20s and 30s, who was still alive, was at that festival. You know, and it was... You could just go there and sit on the grass and listen to these guys play, you know, and talk to them if you wanted to, you know. So it was really, it was an amazing experience. And uh, two years later, I uh, decided that's what I wanted to make, uh, make a living. I was playing, playing music. So that's what I've been doing ever since. I spent a lot. I spent a lot of time on the road. This car has more highway miles on it. All my cars have had more highway miles on it than anything else. And I think that's probably why these engines or the cars that I've had have lasted a long time. It's a '69 Dodge Dart with a slant six engine. They're easy to work on it, you know, because uh, plenty of room under the hood. You don't have all those. Uh, emission control things all over the place and then the, the, the electrical system is pretty easy to keep track of and uh, well I gotta get a new alternator for this car like I said the electrical system is easy to, <laughs> easy to work on <laughs> something though. Uh, before I, 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 did, I forgot I got to go to the bank first, oh. get some money. Uh, all I think it's going to cost about 70 bucks. Get the alternator. I'm gonna save the old one. It's a good thing I had that other one that I gave to him for the, you know, if you give him, give him the old one, you get $14 off the price of the new one. And I had the old one for my, for my other car. So this one, this one still works for, you know, in a pinch. So I'm gonna keep that one in the trunk. Just in case something happens, I'll have, have a spare. If I could have, I don't know, if I have my choice, I don't know what part of this card value is a spare the most. <laughs> the driver. <laughs> I'm gonna hoist your hood, mama. Ooh, I'm about to check your hood. I'm gonna hoist your I don't want my 
one that I'm loving way down in Arkansas. You know what about it. Well, Mr. Highway Man, please don't block my road. I don't do anything that's all that far out. I write songs. I, I sing old time songs. There's nothing. There's nothing. You don't have to be a, a, a graduate of Juilliard <laughs> to understand what the hell I'm doing, you know. But it helps to know where the where it comes from. Chicago, I, I, you know, I give him a call and if, if, if he's around and if I can make it over to visit him or whatever, I'll try to do it. I'll, I'll visit him if I can. And, uh, um, he's had, you know, he's had some ups and downs ever since I've known him. I've known him. He's had a, when I first met him, uh, he was living in uh, West Madison. And his apartment had just gotten broke into the first time I went to visit him. And, uh, they busted the door off the hinges and stolen almost everything that wasn't nailed down. And then uh, he got married and uh, the, their apartment had a fire. And uh, I'm told that he, uh, that the smoke was so bad his wife couldn't see anything. And he, he, because he was blind, he was used to walking around in the, in the dark, you know, of course. You know, so he, he, he found his way out, carried her out of the building. say this, but this is true. I've had a lot of white girls and boys to come to me and ask me, John, can a white person have the blues? <laughs> I'll tell them no. <laughs> they can be sad or lonesome, but the black person has lived the blues. Mm -hmm. We have lived the blues. And we got some very beautiful blues players of the white now. Mm -hmm. Because we're more together than we ever been. You think the white and black are more together? Yes. I do. Thank you. 
much conversation. We used to just sit and grow. When the old timers were around, it made it easier for guys like me. But now the old timers are gone, I gotta make my own way. I mean, I have to do it myself, which is what it's all about. But they told us all that when they're gone, that's, you know, we gotta carry the ball, and that's, that's what we're doing, and, and it's not easy. Something gotta be rain, something gotta be a rain. You dug little girl and I love the way you smell I can't get over the taste of your love is driving me through hell in this please baby and my love for you wow it's locked in my heart you hold the key something gotta be a rain something gotta be a rain